Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, one of our regular YouTubers, Mario, had a dream. And I really believe it has to do with society today. She had a dream that she was being shown a lady with a baby. And in this vision or dream or whatever that she was seeing, this lady uh, was being approached ever so secretly by a slithering cobra. The cobra was colored at kind of a yellowish white. And she was trying so hard to yell at the woman. And her mouth is going... The woman couldn't hear because Mariel couldn't make a sound. And the woman had a baby. This was the worst part. The woman had a baby, looked like a newborn. And when she did finally become aware of the snake, instead of recognizing the danger, she seemed oblivious to the danger level. And she sees it as a toy, kind of, a, a a type of a toy. So she takes her baby and while the snake is turning itself into a coil form, which is what they do before they strike, this woman takes her baby and lays it as she uses the snake's coil as a cradle. And she lays her baby on the snake. Now, this is what's crazy. The whole time, Mariel is up above to the side. She's everywhere trying to get this woman attention. No, no, no. This. She cannot warn this lady of the danger because the sound is muted. Somehow she cannot make a sound. The woman cannot hear her. Totally unaware of Mariel's presence. But she sees the snake as a little toy thing to play with. Let's play a game. So she doesn't, she takes it lightly, but she likes it. She's, she's, she's got an affinity to it, I guess. Something that deadly. Now, Muriel is warning and warning, but she can't. So she ends up waking herself up. Now, what I told Muriel, I got from that, is the woman is society. And society, they play video games, the gaming industry, the entertainment industry. It's all pretty, right? The uh, <clears throat> uh, television all the cable programs, the adult programming, the internet, you know, with adult, uh, adult material, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Well, here's the thing. Many of you are playing, playing on the serpent's turf. You're playing with the serpent's toys. And a lot of you are handling the serpent itself. Because you think it's all fun and games. Hey. That's right. Hey. All right. Now, you don't realize between the drugs, the drink, the sex, the all the enticements, all the sparkles, all the glitters. You don't realize that that thing is slowly, slowly forming a coil. And it's sitting there in this nice little coil. And it looks pretty. And the colors are pretty. But that bad boy is watching you, Jack. And is waiting for the right moment. Hello? And when you realize you've been bitten, it's eternally too late many times. Sometimes it's temporarily too late or permanently too late. You cross the line. Now, 
I want to read something to you. This just popped in my head, so let me go to it. Proverbs. Hmm, hadn't planned this, you guys. Proverbs chapter 23. I already know what that is. Because that story just blew me away when I read it years ago. All right. Now, Proverbs 23. I want you to hear this. Let's see here. Ah, uh, let me go down, go down, go down. Two. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. This is Proverbs chapter 23. Starting at verse 27, all the way to the end. Now, this is not a long section, but I want you to hear the details because this is such a warning, such an eye opener. It, 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 it well, when you see the, the, the allegorical symbols, it, it, it'll blow you away. Okay, listen, I'll explain them as we go. Let's start at verse 26 instead. Now, when you hear this about the whore, the deep ditch, the woman, the, the strange woman, this, that, and the wine, all of that, don't look at it as literal. It's all about sin, the enticements of temptation, all of Satan's traps and tricks, and yeah. Okay, listen. Verse 26. My son... Give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways. For a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Let me stop there. You ever get caught down in a tight hole you can't get out of? Somebody else has to come. They got to bring the rescue, the rescue team to pull you out because you can't work your way out once you're in. Listen, verse 28, she also lieth in wait for a prey and increases the transgressors among men. Who hath woe? Who hath sorrow? Who hath contentions? Who hath babblings? Who hath redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine. They that go to seek mixed wine. Look not thou upon the wine. When it giveth its color in the cup. When it moveth itself aright. At the last, it biteth like a serpent and stingeth like an adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Now, that's two cents. I mean, you can get bizarre. You can get freaky deaky off into sin now. I'm telling you. Sin can take you to places you never thought you would go. And by the time you get caught up into it, you don't have the nerve to say no. Even though something inside of you is saying, ah, this is too far. It's even too far for me. Now listen, let's keep reading. Verse 33. I already read it, but I want you to hear it. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea. Or he that lieth upon the top. Of a mast. Now, imagine laying down in the midst of the sea. You're laying out there floating on your back. Who knows what's out there? What sharks? What jellyfish? What kind of dangers are out there? But you're laying out there because you think, hey, this is cool. Or you're at the top of a mast. This is past two cents. You're at the top of a mast. You see a ship in that long, tall thing. That's, that, that's almost the tallest thing in the ship. That's the mass. Can you imagine laying your body on something that pointy? That's precarious. That means at just one breath and you can be falling to your death. Those are the precarious areas of life. Danger zones of life, of sin. 
All right. They have stricken me. Verse 35, the last verse. They have stricken me, thou shalt say. And I was not sick. They have beaten me. And I felt it not. Huh. When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. So you can't seem to get enough. Can't get enough of that funky stuff. That, that little mess will be beating you upside your head, taking your money and tearing up your family and ripping off your jobs and jacking you up, messing you up and bringing you down low to the ground. And you're sitting up here saying, I want more, 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 more. How do you like it? How do you like it? And you just can't get enough. Can't get enough. And you keep going back. It's kicking your tail. It's raking your behind over the coals. But you keep going back. Just like that woman in Mario's dream kept playing with that serpent. How long is it going to take you? What consequence do you have to suffer before you finally get your behind out of danger's way? Or will it be too late? 